and welcome to Bearded Meeple. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a card game that has an interesting twist on the trick-taking mechanic. It's for 3 to 4 players, ages 11 plus, and it'll play in about 30 to 45 minutes. Now, not only will you be playing with the cards in hand, but each player has a 3 by 3 grid of cards in front of them. And as you win or lose tricks, not only will the cards in your grid be adjusted, but you'll also be able to interact with your opponent's grids and poisoning their final score. It's brought to us by Dark Flight Games. It's Poison Bottles. Let's take a look at it. There are 72 cards in the deck, 12 of them being poison cards. The other 60 are divided amongst three colored decks numbered 1 to 10. The cards are shuffled. Each player will receive nine cards to form a three by three grid, as well as five cards to have in hand. The remainder of the cards are set aside. In the game, there are five phases on a turn. Trick taking, peeking, swapping, attacking, and drawing. From the five cards in hand, each player will play a card. Whoever is the lead player, the color of that card is trump for that hand. Any player that plays trump, if it was higher, they would win the trick. However, if another player plays a poison card during the trick-taking phase, the rule is reversed. Whoever played the lowest card of trump would win the trick. Whoever wins the trick becomes the leader for the next trick-taking phase. Any player that played a poison bottle would place it next to their grid. The other cards are discarded from the game. Players will then get an opportunity to peek at any one card, either on their own board or another player's board, and then place a token to protect a card during the attack phase. The losers from the trick-taking phase will then swap one card from their hand with one card from their grid. The winner of the trick-taking phase will then go to each opponent's board, swapping out a card from their hand, as long as a card isn't protected. Any swapped cards are left face up. All players will draw back up to five cards in hand and play continues. Let's take a look at end of game scoring. The player with the lowest points will win. Any poison bottles that had been set off to the side are minus three points. Cards are worth their face value. Poison bottles are worth 11 points. But, if you get a row or a column of the three same numbers, they will be eliminated and count as zero. If you get three poison bottles in a row or column, it will count as negative 30 points. There is also variation of play with the rat cards and color matching. And that, my friends, is Poison Bottles, a game where, depending on your hand, you may not always want to win the trick because as you're adjusting your personal player board to get the lowest score to win, you're gonna to have to figure out what you need to remove from your grid, but also maybe steal something from your opponent. I enjoyed it, it certainly was interesting. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.